you're headed into the foreign policy debate or CNN, AEI, Heritage. A lot of people, when they talk about foreign policy, they want to know about your Middle East policy, your Israel policy. I'm really interested because you're the governor of Texas. You've been dealing with this civil war in, in Mexico. You've got South America descending into socialism and chaos and some countries having better relations with China than with us because of our own policies, let alone China's policies. Yeah. Uh, how do you see your role if you were president in dealing with the, just the Western hemisphere? Great, I mean, let me tell you a perfect question because the, the, we have, I think, as many issues, if not more, in the Western Hemisphere as we do halfway around the world. Obviously, making sure that our allies, whether it's Taiwan or Israel or India and dealing with that uh, uh, Afghanistan, India, Pakistan region, uh, that's important. But I will tell you, on our southern border, and when you have people like Chavez, and when you have uh, uh, Bolivia and uh, that situation in, in, in that country, then you have real turmoil. You've got Cuba. Uh, we have issues right here in the Western Hemisphere that we need to deal with. You have two countries that we're waiting to sign free trade agreements with. I will suggest to you that there is nothing more important towards peace on this planet than having arrangements with countries where you're actually doing trade with them. So you got Panama and you got Chile, uh, you got South Korea, that we're still waiting on a presidential signature on free trade agreements. All of those need to go forward and we need to be looking for other places. As a matter of fact, you know, maybe that's one of the ways that you deal with the issue of what's happening in that Afghanistan, India, Pakistan region and you create a Southeastern Asian free trade zone and have those people sitting down at the table talking to each other about how do we trade with each other? And I will suggest to you, uh, except in uh, you know, the cases of obviously Iran and, and Syria, uh, which are, are, they don't care right. uh, about those types of issues. Uh, we need to use everything in our uh, toolbox to uh, put the pressure on them. But the key is uh, Western Hemisphere has been ignored way too long and a President uh, Perry who's been dealing with these countries for some time has a pretty good handle on how to deal with them and particularly uh, to, to not only find the ways to drive the drug dealers out of Mexico, not unlike what we did with Colombia. I think the next president of Mexico we can have that type of trusting relationship with because if they don't there is the possibility of that country um, devolving into uh, an even worse economic state than what it is today. Governor, last question I've always wanted to ask you just personally, why did you get into politics? My father and my grandfather were both in public service. Uh, it goes back for better than a, a century and uh, plus and, and giving back to your country uh, is a very honorable and appropriate thing to do. My dad, county commissioner on the school board, was a B-17 tail gunner. His grandfather was a county commissioner. Uh, so when I graduated from high school, Vietnam War was going on. Uh, it, it wasn't a question of whether I was going to serve my country. It was, in, you know, which branch of the military was I going to go right. into. I ended up as a pilot in the United States Air Force. And when I came home and went back to farming and ranching, uh, serving my state as it came uh, about to be was a very normal and a very honorable and an appropriate thing to do. My wife was on the school board. Uh, her brother was the district attorney. Our families understand that America is great because there are people who came before us, who sacrificed, who gave back. The reason I'm sitting here today running for the presidency of the United States is not because I woke up you know, when I was 25 years old and said, man, I want to be the president of the United States. It's because our country's in trouble, and I don't have the privilege of standing on the sideline. I must serve my country. Governor Perry, thanks very much. Good You're luck welcome, to you. Mayor. Thank you, man.